Hey guys, just a quick video on forearm and elbow tendonitis. So if you are getting the classic medial inflammation through here, down in this area, and every time you do pull-ups or pulling movements or deep dips, pressing movements, you get that inflammation there. Or if you're getting it in the tricep through here, sometimes you can get it in the back of the forearm. You want to release that area using the massage ball, so getting deep pressure into the palm, tracing that along, get into that tricep tendon. So getting a good amount of weight in there is really important to release it, break it down. It's really an effective way to um, mobilize those, get some blood flow in there. The other one is the band wrap. So just getting one of these, really important to have great for ankles, knees, hips, uh, and elbows. So if you come around, just hold it there and wrap it around. When you're first doing it, don't go too tight. When you get better at it, you go a lot tighter and you're confident, you feel comfortable doing that. But you want to restrict that blood flow, starving the area, squeezing it all out. And then when you take it off, it's all going to flush in. But while it's on tight, it's that three-dimensional mobility that you're after. So get that on there, lock it off. Then you go through just different mobility exercises. So that way it's opening up. So you go through, open it up through there, through there. If it's more the tricep, through there. And you're just pumping and squeezing everything out. So that way when I take it off. So when you first do it, probably go a minute max. You can do all your wrist mobility, extension, that. Um, you can do your wrist rocks, these ones, which are also good for muscle ups, finger push ups, first knuckle. Those eight key ones that I always recommend are in the videos and in the poster. And then when you take it off, you'll feel that flush going in. Now, you don't want to bruise yourself, you don't want to go too long and cause cell death. If you go too hard and you get all these lines there, just back off a little bit, the cells will get more used to it. So that's a key thing just to remedy it. Uh, doing that before and after training is really important. Maybe doing it again before you go to sleep, it's quite helpful. Now with training, you just got to drop it right down. Um, I've had tendonitis where it took six months and it was just agony and painful and I just kept overtraining on that area. So you've got to work around it. I find that just doing uh, light loads for, and not going too fast. So you're doing light loads with a slow tempo, a weight that you could probably do 15 reps of, but you end up doing five, maybe 10 reps, smooth and controlled to get blood flow. But there's not too much load going in that connective tissue. You're still getting a nice muscular pump, but you're not, and you're you know, getting circulation, healing the area, but you're not aggravating it. Once you've got through that for around four weeks, then you can start to increase the intensity, but you keep the tempo super slow and focus on slow eccentrics to strengthen that connective tissue. If you rush the process, and the classic is people have it, and they feel okay, they don't really notice it, and then when they go into dips, or muscle ups especially, or handstands, things that have got that whole body weight load that they could do quite comfortably before, and the rest of their body can do it well, but it's just that weak link that just gets smashed. So every time they dip or every time they pull up, they just aggravate it and it just makes the whole process take long, longer than it needs to. So back off, go easy, go light on the intensity, smooth, slow, controlled movements. Don't do fast, aggressive movements because they increase the load. Give it a chance and then you can increase the load with super slow tempo. And it should be a, you know, a complete resolution within two months. Otherwise, it's just going to drag out. You might be fortunate and it's just a quick inflammatory thing lasts a couple of weeks and you get back on it, but don't rush it. It's very frustrating and it will hamper your whole training and ruin all of your training if you've got that there because you realise how much you need that grip strength when you're trying to train a bit more intensely. So I uh, hope that helps. See you soon. If you've got any questions, put it in the comments below. I want you guys to really start using this, uh, this Facebook page because it's quite an effective way for me to coach you. And I can, this is the closest I can get to having you in a class uh, by doing this. So make use of it. I'll see you soon.